Which project technology should you consider for your customer's home cinema setup? And what features should we be looking for? Smart Homey and AWE present the Smart Home Essential Series. Three things to look for in a home cinema projector. There are three main types of chipset used to produce the image in a home cinema projector. You have DLP, LCD, and LCOS. Single chip DLP is the most common and often the most cost effective of the technologies as they use only a single chip to produce the image. The chip itself has either two or four million moving mirrors on it. Each mirror represents a pixel. To create a bright pixel, the mirror angles towards the lens and to create a dark pixel, it scatters the light away from the lens. As there is only one chip, a color wheel goes in front of the light source to produce color. This is why many people see the rainbow effect where you see the red, green and blue tails behind fast moving images. Also, due to the color wheel, the color light output suffers as it's not showing all of the colors all of the time. And they'll often add a white sector to make white brighter. This can make the image look washed out. Three LCD projectors have three chips, one for red, one for green, and one for blue. As there are three chips, it can produce all of the colors all of the time. This eliminates the rainbow effect. And as we have all of the colors on the screen at the same time, our color light output matches our lumen level output, giving us a fantastic color accurate image. Lastly, we have LCOS. This is a three chip technology, but this time has over 8 million pixels on each chip. So it's the only technology that can natively produce a 4K image. The other technologies use a form of pixel shift to create a 4K image. So they're not showing all of the pixels at the same time. So do you choose a lamp or a laser? This really comes down to budget. Laser is a better light source. It has a more consistent color temperature throughout its life and the brightness of the laser can be controlled to boost the dynamic contrast. In fact, it can turn off and on instantaneously so we can produce a true black with no light spill onto the screen. Laser technology is also more durable and lasts 10 times longer than a lamp. So there's less maintenance and no lamp changes. Things that you must check with any projector is that you can fill the screen with the image from wherever it's mounted. Make sure that projector's throw ratio works for the distance you're projecting and the size of the screen. If you're ceiling mounting, you want to have lots of lens shift so you can move the image down onto the screen without skewing it. Some projectors will use keystone correction rather than an optical lens shift, and this does skew the image. So what actually happens there is you lose brightness and you introduce digital artifacts due to the additional image processing. Another thing to look for is motorized optics. That's for focus, zoom, and lens shift. So this is how you can move the image with the remote control. This often also means that we can save lens positions or lens memory. So this means that we can do a 235 image as well as a 16 by 9 image, keeping constant height. Here at AWE, we distribute Epson and Sony projectors, meaning we have every budget covered using the best technologies from £500 to £100,000. AWE is offering the UK Smart Home Installation Community award-winning free training on our key solutions. For more details, visit us at Smart Home Academy or go to our main website at awe-europe.com. If you are a UK integrator new to AWE, you can register as a customer in the link below and get up to 10% off your first order. Or if you're an end user interested in any of the solutions mentioned, please click the link below and we will connect you with the nearest smart home integrator.